This tutorial is about extending wings, wings unfurling, unfolding. This is using a strut and two hubs, so this is how it works. I'll show you the back of that so you can see. The grey blue card, that's the big V fold that does the major lifting. Then there's this little V fold stuck into the gully. And then this is the strut, the yellow piece. At the top, the blue piece is two hubs. One is attached to the strut, one is, goes through this big red piece and is attached to this other piece which is the one that is moved up and down. And then this green piece here is just to hold the strut to the back of the red. I can show you in books. So this one is Mega Beasts by Robert Sabuda and Matthew Reinhardt. It's the first spread, it's this. It's just the way, what I'm showing you is how these wing mechanisms work. And there's another example in The Jungle Book by Matthew Reinhardt. And this one is just on one of the little side flaps. It's down here. It's this one. The whole mechanism is, is reverse of the other one I just showed you because the V-fold is pointing up. But it's still, if you look at the back, it's still exactly the same. There's a strut, there's a piece with two hubs in it, and there's a little sleeve holding it together. And there's a, a V-fold here built onto the main V-fold that's motivating everything. So now I'll show you how to do it. There are quite a lot of pieces. I think there's seven pieces. The first one is two 45 degree angles. The height of the whole central section is 10 centimeters. I've marked two lines here. The first one is where the, where the pink V-fold sticks onto it. That one is six centimeters up from the point. The other is a line also parallel with the spine fold, four and a half centimetres in from the corner, and that is where the yellow strut will stick. So let's just stick it together. So I'll stick this on first. And because it's flat, again, we can just stick both sides down at the same time. Line up the central crease. Press it all down. I'll just make sure that this is working. Reinforce that crease. There we go. Then this is the second piece. So this is, the two angles are both 45 degrees. The length of this piece is six and a half centimeters. There's a bite taken out here. It starts three centimeters above the point. I can show you why on here, because as it closes, the strut moves down. And so it moves down towards that V-fold. And so you have to take a piece off this to facilitate that. But at the same time, you want this piece as big as possible because that's what this main red bit sticks onto. So I'll just stick this one on. This is sticking onto the line I've marked that's six centimetres up from the point. So that's the long side. The, the big side is sticking down like that. There we are. And then this, this is going to go like that. So this can stick down with it all flat. That's on the line. I put glue on the back of that tab right that goes like that just make sure it's going to lift up that's okay so that as you can see the small pink triangle is pointing down towards the center there that crease is parallel with this central crease of the main pop-up i'll just make the strut this again is double thickness. It's 13 centimeters long. It's two centimeters wide. It's double thickness. It has a hole at the top 
it's just near the top. I haven't measured that. It's maybe half a centimetre off the top. I'll just glue that shut. And it's got a rounded top just so it doesn't snag against things because there's moving parts here. This is the big red piece. This is going to glue on against the large side of the pink triangle. This corner is going to go into that corner there. The dimensions. It's 12 and a half centimetres high. It's 8 centimetres wide. Where you stick on the, the, uh, the, this green sleeve, top of the green sleeve is four and a half centimetres below the top. And this hole is one centimetre below the top, one and a half centimetres in from the edge. And the diameter of it is 1.4 centimetres. So I'll glue this on. You want the hole, again, away from the centre point. So I'll put the glue on this large triangle. Stick that on so the corner goes right into the triangle. Now I'll take this, I'll just make sure it's all sound. And then this is going to stick on, it's just got one tab on the bottom. That's going to stick onto the blue, four and a half centimetres from the corner there. Before I put that through, I should have put this piece in. This is the two hubs. The whole length of this piece is 5.2. The whole width of it is 3. The distance from the end to where these slots are cut is 2 on this side. And here it's 1.2. And so in actual fact, it's the small end going from on top down through the yellow. And this is one of those ones where you... You fold those tabs in and then unfold them again. And so that's holding that firm. And now let's just stick this on here. So that's like that. That's moving fine. You can see it's stuck parallel to the central fold of the blue bit. It's just coming straight up. There's the hub. You can see how it moves as it opens and closes. And so now you can turn it round and you can take this, this next piece. I could have made it a different colour, I suppose. If you look at how it moves on this side, because it's going to be stuck onto this blue end of that hub, you can see how the hub moves like that. We actually want the piece to be stuck on something like that maybe like that and because as it when it's closed these lines are the marking the center of the hubs they're just pointing more or less straight at the spine so you can you can put it there that'll be the maximum in you can go but as it lifts up this is the this is the furthest up it's going to go anyway this piece I've made is 13 centimetres long and 5 centimetres wide. I'll just stick it on like that so it's following the line of the hub. And we put some glue on here. Smear it around a bit. Again, don't want too much or it'll just gum everything up. I might take a bit more off there and put that on. Give it a moment to set. As you close it, yeah, it comes in like that. As you open it up now, looking at this one, you can see I've actually trimmed it after I've stuck it all together. So we look at this and we can just trim it on the model. So let's just take that corner off. Might want to take some of this off as well. Make sure I don't cut the yellow or anything like that. And we can trim off the top corners as well. Mind out, I'm going to cut the blue if I'm not careful. 
We can trim it down here as well. So you can just start playing with it. And so here it is, opening and closing, and you've got quite a nice, quite a nice action on that. So that's the strut with two hubs unfurling a wing.